एवरीवन वेलकम इन दिस सेशन ऑफ द कोर्स पेडोगोजी ऑफ साइंस आई एम डॉक्टर गौरव सिंह और कोर्स इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर द कोर्स एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बेसिकली अबाउट द कॉमन पोल्यूशन टाइप्स इन इंडिया एज वेल एज हाउ यू कैन एंगेज योर लर्नर्स टू डील विद सच सिचुएशन टू अंडरस्टैंड देयर इम्पैक्ट ऑन द लाइफ and how students can be make aware to deal with the situations like pollution when you think what pollution is let you ask your students what pollution is they may say pollution is the smoke in the air pollution is the waste at the drain at the river bed but very beautifully national geographic has defined pollution that pollution is the introduction of harmful material into the environment and these harmful materials are called pollutants if you explore further what pollution is you can find many dictionary meaning also like in the merriam webster dictionary it has been written that the action of polluting especially by the environmental contamination with man made waste that is pollution in britannica it has been written that pollution also called environmental pollution is the addition of any substance solid liquid or gas or any form of energy such as heat sound or radioactivity to the environment at the rate faster than it can be dispersed diluted decomposed recycled or stored in some harmless form let us take a cue from this definition which was uh, given in britannica that pollution can be addition of any substance solid liquid or gas and also any form of energy so pollution can be due to overheating pollution can be due to sound pollution that can be due to radioactivity though we are not adding any substance solid liquid or gas and what is important that the rate of the polluting is more than the rate of the dispersion dilution decomposition recycling or storage then it become pollution so if you take a cue from this definition you ask your students to identify what are the main uh, or common types of the pollution they will list many you ask them to list on the board you ask one by one that what is a pollution what types of pollution you want to know some may say air pollution light pollution noise pollution plastic pollution soil contamination radioactive contamination thermal pollution visual pollution water pollution and and many more this list is endless this list is endless but there are few very common pollutions which are available everywhere which are impacting every individual's life one such as air pollution if you want to give an opportunity your students to explore and explain that what air pollution is what you will do my suggestion is start with the life experiences of the learners let learners be invited to share the stories or the incidents which have happened in their life where they felt the impact of air pollution it can be uh, before the onset of the winters in northern india like in delhi and all we mostly see a lot of pollution in the month of october november it can be many news articles they can be asked to collect the articles and make a collage and then present it in a meaningful way it can be many case studies of air pollution like how air pollution has been caused by a fertilizer factory or a chemical factory or the vehicular uh, pollution is there many many things are you start with such activities don't start directly with the content that is my suggestion then later you can explain like nrdc has explained that air pollution refers to the release of pollutants into air that are detrimental to the human health and the planet as a whole nasa on its website climatekits.nasa.gov has defined air pollution for the kids that air pollution is caused by the solid and liquid particles and certain gases that are suspended in the air these particles and gases can can come from cars trucks exhaust factories dust pollens 
mold spores, volcanoes, wildfire, from anywhere. And the solid and liquid particles which are suspended in our air are called aerosols and these aerosols are causing air pollution. Now, how can you explain it? There is a very famous activity given your, in your study material also. That you ask the learners to take three sheets of white paper and make them greasy by applying some basic oil on each. Let them paste each of these white paper sheets at three different places like one at the corner of a traffic busy street, one at a quiet park, one in the kitchen of their house and ask them to notice all sheets in the next day, what they observe. Which sheets had turned more black and dark? Their observations basically will help you to introduce the concept of air pollution more easily in your class. Now the question is what causes air pollution? There are many causes. You ask us students again, I think the whole pollution topic should be taught through the activities and engagements only. There are many causes like burning of the fuels like coal, boats and household and other household activities. Then the fuel which is being used in the automobiles such as diesel, petroleum, all these release oxides of the carbon, nitrogen, sulfur and smoke. Then burning of the coals in the power plants, industries, the major source of gaseous pollutions of the sulfur and nitrogen. Then in the ACs, refrigerators and aerosol sprays which are using basically CFCs. Now CFC has been replaced by HCFC. They all are damaging the ozone layer. Then deforestation means the indiscriminate cutting of the trees by, for building house, for other infrastructure. It also affects the carbon dioxide and oxygen balance in the environment. Then suspended particular metals such as shoot and fly ash which is released by the industries and automobiles form a blackish layer in the air in the atmosphere. So there are many causes. And how it is affecting? It is affecting like the global warming is taking place. The earth temperature is rising slowly, slowly, slowly. The glaciers are melting. There are many stories. There is a very famous story in India also that how Gangotri glacier is going back, back, back and back and it's shrinking. Antarctica is shrinking. The ice covered area in Antarctica is shrinking very fast. So such videos, such pictures, such stories can be used to show that what effect air pollution is causing. Then acid rain, concept of acid rain is there because the industrial gas which goes as a waste in the air, it has sulfur, nitrogen. When they are carried out by the wind to the clouds, they get mixed with the water and make sulfur dioxide, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid. And it came with the rain on the earth and it is so acidic that it kills plant life, polluted rivers, streams and aerate the oven stonework also. So this is the whole cycle. You show them the picture, you can ask them to draw the cycle, you can ask them to explain every step, you can organize a role play, anything you can do. Then de depletion of the ozone layer is again a big concern and uh, we all know that there are two layers of ozone, good ozone and bad ozone, so bad ozone is below and good ozone is above. Ozone basically helps to stop the solar radiations which are harmful for our body. They get stuck there and only the radiations which are coming down are not that much harmful. But then this ozone depletion takes place due to the CFCs and all that. Then the layer become very thin and radiation can pass through it. So it increases the global temperature also. Then there are many health hazards, many you know health diseases, lung diseases and many other diseases are due to the air pollution. What can be done? First solution is use of clean energy. You need to explain to your students that what are the alternatives available for clean energy. Let them collect some examples like CNG, how using public transport and carpool help in reducing air pollution. Let them make some slogan, let them make some activity, let them organize some awareness campaign. How the clean sources of the energy such as solar energy, wind energy and water energy should be promoted. How plants can help in reducing the air pollution, so planting should be more 
regular pollution check should be there for our vehicles whatever fumes are being released by the industry it should be free from sulfur before they are released to the chimney so chimney should be advanced there should be a mechanism at the top of the chimney to reduce the carbon and supply sulfur supply in the fumes they need to create an awareness regarding the environment that everybody understand the responsibility similar is the case of the water pollution Water pollution occurs basically when the harmful substances, often chemicals and microorganisms, contaminate the stream, river, lake, ocean, aquifer, or any other body of the water, degrade the water quality, and rendering it toxic to the human and the other environment. So the water pollution happens when toxic substance enter to the water bodies such as lake, river, ocean, and so on, and getting dissolved in them, lying suspended in the water or deposited. depositing on the bed this degrades the quality of the water wwf has defined it very effectively so what are the causes of the water pollution it can be industrial based it can be marine dumping it can be oil spoil it can be pesticides it can be mining it can be burning of fossil fuels many many things can be there the most common observable cause of water pollution is industrial based children can observe very easily near any industry that there is a water body which is polluted because industrial based is falling in that then there are many human cleanliness activities the waste which we which we basically remove every day from our home where is it going is it going to a proper place or it is being dumped in any other place near to your house or just far from your house you can see a lot of canals or the drains in the cities which are filled with pollutants though they were made to remove the waste but they have been become the dumping ground for the waste pesticides and fertilizers are also causing water pollution because we are using over using pesticides and fertilizers and when they go in with the water after rain or after uh, you watering your plants the excess they mix in the excess water they flow with the water they mix with the water resources they get in the land earth absorbs so the underground water also get contaminated along with the river water that is also causing water pollution then um, there are many cases you must have recently seen in the mauritius it has happened that a oil filled tanker was busted in the sea and a whole wildlife the whole beach everything get destroyed so many such cases are there then the when the oil is disturbing the whole life and causing water pollution specifically in the sea areas then the nuclear waste is also a cause of water pollution specifically the nuclear plants which are near to the river their waste has certain amount of radiating material so when that water with those radiations goes to the fields goes to the people it affects their health so industrial waste which containing poisonous chemicals make water unfit for drinking and other activities untreated domestic sewage is also is a source of many water borne diseases the chemical released by the factories and the fertilizers and the pesticides used by the farmers all these things reaching to the water bodies and subsequently the aquatic animals through the food chain and affecting not only the aquatic life but also the life of the human being you can see the eutrophication is one of the effect of the water pollution when you see that the drainage of the nutrient rich water is from the fields it results the excessive growth of the plants to the surface of the water such as algae and this is called eutrophication because this algae and weed use much of the oxygen than the other aquatic life die due to the lack of it and they also block the sunlight reaching to the submerged plants and due to oil spoil a thin layer of oil is formed over the surface of the water which blocks the sunlight and also it makes water unfit for drinking so this is a serious threat for the aquatic life especially in the sea areas then the pollution of the water affects the fertility of the soil which is basically used for irrigation water contaminated with the toxic chemicals may result into various diseases including blurring of vision numbness of limbs mentally you can ask your students what are the effect of the water pollution they can 
make many paintings, many designs, many, many things you can do. Like here you can see that the cholera, typhoid, diarrhea, hepatitis A, giardia, all these are uh, some diseases which are caused by the polluted drinking water. How we can prevent? Ask your students to suggest the ways to prevent the water pollution. They may suggest you that avoid bathing and cleanliness activities near to the water bodies. Domestic and industrial waste should be treated before discharging it into the water bodies. That fertilizers and the pesticides should be used judiciously in an eco-friendly way can be adopted. Religious activities that pollutes the water should be restricted. Nowadays, a lot of activities have been restricted. Now, you know, the submersion of the ideals at certain places have been almost banned in the rivers, creating awareness among the people to stop water pollution. As a teacher, pollution is a topic which is very near to the heart and mind of the every child you need to understand. The only thing is, you need to design the activities in such a way that students should not think that, oh, the teacher is not teaching something which is new for me. The teacher is talking about something which is happening around me, which I am feeling, my family is feeling, my society, my community is feeling every day then you need to engage your learners in community participation community engagement community awareness activities through that changes can be brought as well as the topic and the content can be delivered so i hope that if you will do it if you will do it you will be able to do justice with the topic of the pollution though i have taken example only of the air pollution or water pollution but you can design your class on any topic of the pollution on the same lines or the similar lines. My suggestions are only suggestive, not prescriptive. As a science teacher, you need to think out of the box. What activity I should design? Role play is a very good tool in teaching about the topics related to pollution. You can use role plays. Quizzes, you can organize. Community campaigns, you can organize. Uh, collage making and the uh, case studies. All these things can be used. So my suggestion is make the topic interesting. Use pictures, use videos, use collage, use newspapers, use magazines. Make it more interactive. Make it more engaging. Make it more experiential. Only then you will be able to do the justice with the topic. Topic can be water pollution, topic can be air pollution, topic can be land pollution, topic can be radioactive pollution, topic can be, can be anything. Anything. So I hope that if you will follow these lines, you will be able to deal with the content effectively in your class and you will do justice with your students. With this, I must say all the best. Thank you very much.